Yeah, it looks like there's a pattern developing, doesn't there? Um, we have to find some answers and some, some answers pretty quick. So, um, as with normal, we'll, we'll certainly review the game, in particular look at those patches where we're getting heavily scored against. Um, I thought defensively for most of that game, it looked like we were in, we were okay. We were gonna, you know, it wasn't going to be a shootout. And then all of a sudden, look at the scoreboard at the end and they've kicked another 130-something points. So, um, that's three weeks in a row we've been... Um, really heavily scored against. Um, so once again, we have to look at the reasons why this is happening because it is becoming a trend, unfortunately. What do you think you can't get some real speed out, just forward to centre, so you can really hit the goal square either with your midfielders scoring goals or then catching your forwards to an advantage? Yeah, it looked like that today, that they were better outside the contest. Um, I know I haven't seen the stats yet, but it felt like we were OK inside, but then Sydney were at a run away from the contest better than us. When we kicked it forward and we didn't win it, um, they ran it out with pretty, with pretty, or pretty easily. With ease, they worked the ball out of our forward line, so. Yeah, they? Yeah, they, they moved the ball quite often from coast to coast. And as you mentioned about trends, it's a, again, different times in the game. They went from the back pocket to their forward pocket and had a mark to a midfielder type in the goal square, so. Um, that's an area that we have to get better at. It's, that's uh, links in the chain of breaking down. You know, we can't we can't stop it with one mark chain. It's it's two mark chains, three mark chains. Then the fourth one is a, a mark inside forward fifty. You know, sometimes twenty metres straight out in front. So um, we're not working together as a team defensively. Um, that's something that's got to be uh, addressed pretty quick. And you know, an eight day break going into St Kilda, we've got to make sure we we find out what the problem is and. Or what the problems are and fix them up. How did you see your forward set up today? Um, we we missed some sodas. We, you know, we our conversion rate was poor, but that that wasn't the reason we lost the game. Um, we don't seem to be getting easy goals. We seem to have to really scrap and fight to to get a goal. And um, so for whatever reasons, yeah, we're not and we're not getting we're not getting those really simple. You know, 20 metres out straight in front goals there. The goal kicking hurt. It didn't cost you the game, but there was a stage, like at three quarter time, you had you know, more scoring shots, but you were, you were still behind. But you did miss some, as you said, some sodas, didn't you? Yeah, they, uh, they were able to score today from 4 to 50 stoppages, too. They, I'm not sure what the numbers were, but it felt like they were better than us around the ball, particularly in, in their forward 50, our D50, they were able to score stoppage goals, um, which is an area that we're normally pretty good at. Well, Bonsi Adley won one positive. I mean, I only kicked the one, but he looked like he worked hard and he was very good around the, around the ground. Yeah, he was. He provided a contest for us ahead of the footy. Um, he did get a lot of his ball up through the midfield, which um, sometimes we'd like someone else to be kicking. When Podsy Adley took a mark in the midfield, we'd like someone else to take that mark and then kick it to him. But um, yeah, I thought he was he was good today. He certainly provided a contest for us. And um, as you said, it was a better game than one goal. But uh, yeah, he. He was uh, one of the few players that probably stood up today. How bad was this win when you considered that this was your first home game at Adelaide Oval? And during the week, Stephen Trigg uh, praised the Crow supporters because of the uh, sellout crowd. Um, but he made the, also made the comment that it depends on what you do from now on. You know, just how severe is this win for you? Uh, loss for you? Yeah, it's a bad loss. It's uh, it's unacceptable for our fans who. We want to come and see footy played the right way. At the moment, we're not playing footy consistently well for four quarters. It's almost like we're teasing ourselves at times where we do some good stuff. Um, once again, we, I know we didn't hit the front today, but we got back within a couple of points. Um, and from that point on, we got embarrassed again. So uh, we've got to find answers and we've got to find them pretty quick. Obvious question. Uh, what would your message be to men with same supporters after today and this start of the year? Um, well, we had some really good form taking into the start of the season, so our NAB Cup form was good. We can, we are capable of playing some good footy. Um, we've seen three games though. We're playing in fits and spurts. We're not playing four quarters of consistent footy. Um, without looking too far ahead, we've just got to make sure we start well against St Kilda. You know, we have eight day break now. We've got to work on a lot of different strategies, a lot of different tactics to ensure that that we don't start the season zero four. Um, mm. We're not hitting the panic button yet. But we're certainly starting to lean on it a little bit, you know. We're, uh, 
Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll keep looking at the makeup of our team. We'll keep looking at our squad. We'll keep trying to find answers about how we're playing from a game plan point of view. And um, but we can't keep capitulating like we have. Um, uh, that's Brent, three weeks in a row. Brenton, you've mentioned about the cup form before, but sometimes that can be misleading where teams do well or they don't do well. And it really means nothing at the start of the season. Do, do you think that that's that cup form that you talk about? Do you think that sort of it's been misguided or it's no? I think false hope? yeah, and no, I still think winning form is good form. Um, you need your players to get their confidence and to increase self belief. Uh, so we've had. I guess two very different campaigns, 2012-2013, where we won the NAB Cup in 2012 and took that form, it felt like, into the start of the season. Um, last year we were slow to get going through the NAB Cup and it felt like that was how we started the season. So we felt internally that it was important to get away to a really good start, to, to win some games, get some players in form. Um, we played well against Geelong but got beat by 50 points or 45 points. We played well at different times in the showdown but still lost by 50 points. Um, today, we just weren't good enough for long enough. Um, that fourth quarter, once again, and then the players, you know, we can say that whatever, the, and we'll get a lot of advice this week, but they were still trying as hard as they possibly could, but they just couldn't sustain the onslaught that Sydney were throwing at them. And uh, we've got to be better than that. It was, uh, as I said, three weeks in a row in the fourth quarter, we've let ourselves down. So um, we'll find answers and we'll make some changes. We not keep saying that um, we're capable of playing some good footy, but why we can't play it for four quarters will be the question that we'll try and seek. Kind of the Sandos effect, even when you're, you're playing well, you might score two goals in a, in a 15 minute yep. period when you're actually having a fair bit of the foot. And the opposition then gets four goals in eight minutes in every game that's happened. How do you stop that? It's a great point. Uh, even today, first quarter, seven minutes to go, um, scores were about level, and then they end up winning the quarter by, uh, by four goals, you know. Um, similar in the second quarter, we felt like we were scrapping and fighting and doing everything we possibly could to stay in the game, but then they just blast us with three quick goals. So um, that's a combination of lots of things that, that result in, in quick goals. Um, some teams will put a number behind the ball. We did that at different times today. We threw a seventh defender behind the ball, but ultimately we've just got to win more critical contests. And today, particularly late in the game, we couldn't win enough even number contests. We just didn't win critical contests. Um, we've got to get back to being a good, a good side in that regard. Sandra, you said you satisfied the players were trying as hard as they could in the final term, but those three capitulations, are you at all concerned that it's a, it's a mindset thing? Um, I hope it's a mindset thing because you can change that. You can change the mindset. You can, you can adjust mental toughness. You can make sure that players are able to push themselves to the line. Um, I hope that it's it's a mental thing because you can change that. But why? I mean, why would it be an issue, especially after last year? It shouldn't be. I mean, I know even what we said in the last quarter, um, we've used our sub. Uh, Kerridge doesn't come back on in the last quarter, so we're down with two on the bench. Um, looks like Griggs got a little bit of an adductor strain. Um, he couldn't run. He ended up playing as a deep forward, so we felt like we didn't have the run. Same thing last week, you know, we then had two on the bench, one on the bench with McKernan concussed last week or, or couldn't come back on. So um, maybe we just need a couple of little things to go our way, but um, those couple of little things don't add up to 50 point losses. So, um, yeah, we, we need to fight it out better than what we are, without question. Not a few players can you trust to respond at the moment? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, I still have enormous amount of trust within the group that we should be better for four quarters. Um, we do have a certain amount of guys who are injured. Um, our state league plays tomorrow, so that's a great character dangle in front of those players is, is play well tomorrow and you're in line for selection the following week against St Kilda. Um, but yeah, it's a great opportunity for, for, for players now, and that's across the whole team, to stand up. And we'll see what our group's made of. We'll see what I'm made of. We'll see what this team's made of. Um, but we're coming from a long way back now. Um, we can't let the uh, competition get too much further in front of us, unfortunately. Thanks, guys. Um, Sanders is going to go. Last one. Sanders is going to go. I uh, did some OK things. Um, yeah, he's, we know he's going to be a really good long-term play, player for us. I think he... He had a couple of shots for goal, you know, a couple of snaps out of stoppage, and um, but yeah, he's going to be a really important player for us. But uh, yeah, I thought he did some okay things. Thanks, guys. Sandow's got to go and. Uh...
Chris, the faithful and the 19th man for mm. speaking this year. Thanks, Ross. Right. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Sure.